what should I talk about first? <laughs> There's so many good books, I don't know which one to talk about. And Entrapped? Untamed? Why did I say Entrapped? It's not even a word. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a book haul. I went to my local thrift store and got a total of 11 books because I have no self-control. But they're all books that I've like wanted to read for a while, so I'm justifying it that way. We're gonna pretend that I'm allowed to buy more than four books a month. Shh. So without further ado, let us get started. The first two books that I picked up are from the same series, and it is the Modern Fairy Tales series by Holly Black, but I got the second and third book. I could be wrong, this could be the third, this could be the second, honestly. I don't know. Just kidding. This is the second. This is the third. The second book is called Valiant. The third book is called Iron Side. And I haven't read Teeth yet, which is the first book, but, you know, they were on the shelf. They're only like $2.50 each, so, you know, your girl can't pass up a bargain. Oh, it happened. And also, like, I really like the spines. And, like, Teeth has a butterfly, and they just look so nice together, and just... I'm a cover buyer, okay? I'm sorry. The next book is The Sweet Far Thing by Libba Bray. This is the third book in the Gemma Doyle series. I have the first and second book. I've only read the first one, but this is here again for two fifty. So, you know, I was like, I have the first and second book. I might as well complete the trilogy. But, like, this is a honker of a book, so... We don't know when we're actually going to get to it, but... I now own it, so eventually it'll happen. I just don't know when. The next book is The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. This will be my first Neil Gaiman book. But everybody seems to really like his writing, so... My, my mom actually saw this and was like, get it, so I was like, <gasps> peer pressure, okay. I mean, it didn't take that much peer pressure because she kind of just put it on the pile and was like, you're getting it. really like the cover, so another cover buy for me, as always. The next book is Need by Carrie Jones. This is another one my mom just kind of put on the pile and was like get it because it's pretty. I think just because there's glitter on it and we both really like glitter because we are magpies and you know we like shiny things. The book follows a girl named Zara White who believes that she's being semi-stalked by a creepy guy and then she also has this weird fascination with phobias. Her mom sends her to Maine to help keep her sane and then she discovers that she actually is being stalked by somebody and he leaves gold dust wherever he walks and he's like a creature of some sort but it doesn't tell you what creature it is. And she thought it sounded cool so I was like, okay, let's get it. So it's now in my possession. I don't know when I'll read it but, you know, creepy stalkers are kind of my thing so it makes sense to buy it. Kind of. Not really. But we're going with it. The next two books I am so excited about. Because I read the first book in the series and I loved it so much. But it is Lola and the Boy Next Door and Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. This is the second book. This is the third book. The first book is Anna and the French Kiss, which I'm like obsessed with. I thought it was adorable. So, you know, I'm very excited about these ones because I've been looking for them forever and I've never been able to find them on sale. And now your girl got them for $2.50. So life is so good right now. So good. And then the last four books are all part of the same series. And I was like actually surprised to find them because they're like basically in perfect condition. So, you know, your girl's very excited. The books are splintered. Entered, unhinged, just wait. ensnared, and untamed. These books are all by A.G. Howard. I believe that they're just an Alice in Wonderland-ish retelling. I don't know that much about them, but the covers are like, I don't know why, but I love them so much. I think because they're so bright and they also have like butterflies and stuff on them. And I'm a sucker for butterflies and bright colors. So I saw them all there and I was like, might as well buy them because it's a full series. So why not, you know? I have no self-control, like I've said multiple times. Alright guys, so that was my little book haul. Let me know down below if you've read any of them and if you enjoyed them or if I should just like run away screaming from any of them. But I feel like I'm actually going to enjoy all of them, so we'll see. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!